It is Tuesday, August 18th, 2020, and it's 12.44 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's time to read 1 Samuel chapter 30. And it came to pass when David and his men were come to Ziklag on the third day that the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziklag and smitten Ziklag and burned it with fire and had taken the women captives that were therein and slew not any, either great or small, but carried them away and went on their way. So David and his men came to the city and behold, it was burned with fire and their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captives. Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. And David's two wives were taken captives, Ahinoam, the Jezreelite, and Abigail, the wife of Nabal, the Carmelite. And David was greatly distressed, for the people spake of stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons and his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. And David said to Ab Abiathar, the priest, Ab Am Ahimelech's son, I pray thee, bring me hither to Iphod. And Abiathar brought thither the, to if the Iphod to David. And David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt, thou shalt surely overtake them, and without fail recover all. Hallelujah. So David went, he and the six hundred men that were with him, and came back, came to the brook Besor, where those that were left behind stayed. But David pursued, he and four hundred men, for, for four hundred abode with him, which were so faint that they could not go over the brook Besor. And they found an Egyptian in the field and brought him to David and gave him bread and he did eat and they made him drink water. And they gave him a piece of cake of figs and two clusters of raisins. And when he had eaten, his spirit came again to him for he had eaten no bread nor drunk any water three days and three nights. And David said unto him, To whom belongest thou and whence art thou? And he said, I am a young man of Egypt, servant of an Amalekite. And my master left me because three days ago, agone, I fell sick. We made an invasion upon the south of the Cherethonites and upon the coast, which belongeth to Judah, and upon the south of Caleb, and we burned Ziklag with fire. And David said to him, Canst thou bring me down to this company? And he said, Swear unto me by God that thou wilt neither kill me nor deliver me into the hands of my master, and I will bring thee down to this company. And when he had brought him down, behold, they were spread abroad upon all the earth, eating and drinking and dancing because of all the great spoil that they had taken out of the land of the Philistines and out of the land of Judah. And David smote them from the twilight, even into the evening of the next day. And there escaped not a man of them, save four hundred young men, which rode upon camels, and fled. And David recovered all that the Amalekites had carried away, and David rescued his two wives. Hallelujah. And there was nothing lacking to them, neither small nor great, neither sons nor daughters, neither spoiled nor anything that they had taken to them. David recovered all. And David took all the flocks and the herds which they drave, before those other cattle and said this is david's spoil and david came to the 200 men which were so faint that they could not follow david whom they had made also to abide at the brook at, at the brook basor and they went forth to meet david and to meet the people that were with him and then david came near to them to to the people he saluted them then answered all the wicked men men and men of Belial, of whose that went with David, and said, Because they went not with us, we will not give them aught of the spoil that we have recovered, save to every man his wife and children, that they may lead them away and depart. Then said David, Ye shall not do so, my brethren, with that which the Lord hath given us, who has preserved us, and delivered the company that came against us into our hand. For who will hearken unto you in this matter? But as his part is that goeth down to the battle, so shall his part be the, the tarrieth by the stuff. They shall part alike. And it was so, for, 
from that day forward that he made it a statute and an ordinance for Israel unto this day. And when David came to Ziklag, he sent for the spoil unto the elders of Judah, even to his friends, saying, Behold, a present for you of the spoil of the enemies of the Lord, to them which were in Bethel, and to them which were in the south of Ramoth, and to them which were in Jatir, and to them which were in Aurora, and to them which were in Sifmoth, and to them which were in Eshtemoa, and to them which were in Rachel, and to them which were in the cities of Jeremelites, and to them which were in the cities of Kenites, and to them which were in Horma, and to them which were in Korashan, and to them which were in Athak, and to them which were in Hebron, and to all the places where David himself and his men were wont to haunt. Hallelujah.